for CropStop.com and today I am going to show you a collection of embossing folders from Contour Creations. Now this particular collection is called the Marriott Collection. So I have, I think I have maybe almost all of these. Now, some of these I don't have, but the ones I do have I'm going to show you just some things, how they look, and then actually some of them I pulled together and put cards. So, you know, I've got a lot of them to show here. Let's just get started. Now this first one, <clears throat> excuse me, is called, let's see, it is called, I need to find where they put the name. It'll drive me, oh, look at this. Is this hysterical? I bet you're all laughing at me going, it's in the left corner. Lazy days. And it's, so you can do an A2 size card this direction, like so. So all I did was just to show you what this one looked like. I haven't finished the card, but I wanted to hurry up and show you what I have. This is just on your cheap white core paper, and I just sanded it, so it's not a coordination paper. But I have a, um, Bible scripture that I'm going to put here about the sea, the open sea, and, and all of that. And so I thought I would do that. And then I have a little punch that I think I'm going to try and find. I used to have that's a little black seagull, but I think I'll, well, it's not black, a white seagull. And I used it actually for some other bird scenes. I'm going to see if I can do something there. But I wanted to just show you how cool that is. So those of you out there that like seaside stuff and you love the lighthouses, now you got an embossing folder that matches that. This one I am going to love. At first I'm like, oh, what am I going to do with this? I'm not a water person, so the water ones give me a little struggle. But I have a girlfriend who is going to do her wedding vows over again next year. And they're going to go down on the beach and get married. So I thought, you know what, this is going to, it's an untraditional thing for them. It's like the fourth time around they keep renewing their wedding vows. You'd think once would have done it, but nonetheless. So I'm going to actually use this for a wedding card. And I will put something on the inside for her. And I thought that'd be perfect. And this is kind of the same thing. It's white core paper. But this was the kind of blue color that she's going to be using because she wanted it to look like the ocean. So there you are. So I'm going to use that for a wedding card. Kind of not traditional looking. Now here's one I thought turned out real cute. This one's called Abbey Road. And I did this on coordination. This is the White Wars coordination paper, and I used it. And I just sanded it to get the little brown. I backed it with a brown cardstock. And browns and pinks were real popular, I don't know, a year or so ago. That's a little crooked. That'll drive me crazy. You know how I am about crooked stuff. I'll fix it off camera. And so I thought browns and pinks were real popular so I just all I did was punch some butterflies stamped it and did a little backing there and called it a card super simple choose happiness with butterflies and again that one was called Abbey Road I had a lot of fun with this one check that out this one's called wire barbs up here in Ohio we call it barb wire so they call theirs wire barbs but anyway there you are so what I did is I embossed it and I took a dark brown ink pad and I did the paper to, to uh, ink pad to paper technique to get that look. These are some stamps and I knew the name of them a minute ago and now I can't think of it. Anyway, I got all these little dog stamps because they look like my dog Odie. So I did that and I just put some jute behind there and there's a new sheriff in town. I thought this would be great for little boys, um, you know, when a little baby boy is born. So I'm going to put that in the file. And I went ahead and stamped on my envelope. This is a big thing in the card classes that I do. Everybody stamps their envelopes and I love that idea. I never do. Oh, I also stamped it on the inside. So that's just a real cute way to use the wire barbs. So actually this ends up being, I think, my favorite one because I've never seen one like that before. Alrighty, so the next one I did was kind of different. Around here we do um, Santa keys and the kids all have their own key because we don't have a fireplace. So the thing was how is Santa Claus going to get down the chimney if you don't have a fireplace? Excuse my weird fingernails looking. I've been working on mixed media. I broke all my fingernails and I've got ink under my fingers. They really are clean hands and I even pinched myself. Anyway, back to the story. So this is Babette. And it's all these little keys and a time piece down here. So I thought, I'm going to make it kind of a Christmas thing. And we've got a new family that's come into our extended family. And they need a Santa key. This isn't going to be it, but I thought this would be a cute way to send it to them. And I'll put their Santa key inside. So there you are. And I just inked it a little bit just to pop that a little bit more on the craft paper. So that's going to be kind of an unusual, but another way to use a folder. It does, this for Christmas, doesn't always have to be Christmas trees and Santas. But we do have to have a Santa key so we can get in the house. All right. Now here comes some other fun ones. I pulled out my Cricut. This one is called, I don't know how you say that, FUBU. F-U-B-U, FUBU. That's what I'm calling it, FUBU. You all can write in and call in or do something and tell me how you really say it. Anyway, it was a really cool green background. 
or I looked at it and saw a green background. So I pulled out this really unusual green coordination paper, pulled out my Cricut, and I did this flower. I laughed because when I looked at it, I thought, that's not a flower. It's a bird. I pulled out this bird. When I put it on there, I got to look and I go, is that supposed to be a dolphin? It kind of looks like a dolphin's tail. But it's not. It is a bird. I went and looked again because it was made with a cartridge called... Um, three birds in a nest or something like that and I had this stamp and I think this is a lawn fawn maybe maybe and did prints forever so I loved the colors it made me think of fun in the sun just a great day so there's that one now I have several other uh, collections that I'll be showing you over the next couple weeks so I've been busy making cards all right this one I love this as well velvet tea lights I have some that look like this that they've done before that was real similar so what I decided to do was ink my folder then emboss and that's how I got this background so that's this background on my paper then I have some stamps and die cuts that all match and happy belated birthday I don't have any birthday cards that are for belated so I thought well there you go and I kind of like the colors that they went together pretty well kind of a I don't know, goldy, I don't know, what would you call that color, goldy, and then the blues and greens and purples, and so there you are. So I thought that turned out real cute, so that's that one. All right, let's see, this one I really did have a lot of fun because I was able to use a stamp that Haley Joe had sent me. This one's called Only One, and it's a really cool, I don't know if you can really, it might be easier to see it back here maybe, let's look. It's this one right here. So it's got like a border. So you could do it this way or you could do top and bottom. I chose to do it this way. And I was really bummed because I wasn't paying attention and my ink kind of bled here around my little puppy dog. I wasn't happy, but this is going to be my sample in my notebook to remind me how I did it. I'm not going to send this to anybody. And I knew you all wouldn't care if it had a little bit of tan brown there. Anyway, so I stamped this using the Heartfelt Creations Lullaby Darlings pre-cut set. And there you are. So you get a girl with her little kitten and a boy with his puppy and then a happy birthday. So this would be a great little card. And what, what a neat way to back it. And then I colored this using um, actually some of my Memento markers, some Copics, and then I pulled in my Spectrum Noir and did those because I did. And this one I'm just still bummed. But, you know, again, I'm telling myself it's just a sample. So there you are. So isn't that too cool? But the, the embossing on the edge on white just popped it. It just popped it. So, now that one again was called Only One. So there you are. All right, and the last one, my kids cracked up, grandkids cracked up when they saw it. This one was called Peacock Fans because, you know, looks like the pecan feather. So I had my cricket out, and I made a peacock. And they all laughed, and they go, Bubby, it doesn't look like a peacock. I, we don't know what it's supposed to be, but it doesn't look like a peacock. And I said, well, I'm proud as a peacock. Ta-da, it worked. And I don't care if they liked it or not. I thought it was funny, so you know what I might do is when my granddaughter that laughed at me, when she does something either in band or in school and does it really well, I'm sending her this card for honoriness because she thought it looked funny. So that's all that I have in the Marriott collection. There are a few others that I actually don't have, but this will give you a good idea. Actually, I have pretty almost all of them, so I think we're in good shape because some of them are in the 5x7s. So there's your Peacock fans. Run through these real quick. This is using Heartfelt Creations and only one. And this one turned out to be my, oh, that's coming off there, my favorite because I love Odie. So anyway, this is all of them that you can look at. Abbey Road. There you go. This is the, oh, it must have got stuck back here. This is going to be a wedding card. So my point being to all of you is that you can use your embossing folders and just plain old emboss and leave it alone. Or you can really go crazy and do a lot of really fun things and just change it up a bit. Add some punches add some die cuts, pull out your Cricut or your Silhouette, and just go to town. There you are. So that's that. So make sure to stop over to CropStop.com and tell them Peggy sent you.